Hello everybody and welcome to another video. A revisit video now on the Tickle Me Elmo because somebody a while ago after I did the original replacement of the batteries in the giggle box somebody asked whether or not I could show the wiring diagram inside the actual box itself. So today I'm going to take his giggle box out. Yes, okay, Elmo. We know you're ticklish. And I am going to show you how it's wired in. I hope. So, let's try and undo this if I can. Yeah, there we go. Note to self. Don't press the little box because it will set him off again. Right, so, giggle box is out. Elmo's there. No giggling. Just needs to be Elmo, which is fine. So at the moment, he's quite inert. Put that to one side. One second, I've just dropped him. Poor old Elmo, where have you gone? There we go. Back there. Right. So, what do we need? We need a screwdriver. <clears throat> there we go. Okay, so first off, we take out the batteries. That beeping machine outside, honestly. We're still on a building site in the new house. It's very, very noisy. So, battery's out. One, two, three. All different types. Shouldn't really do that, but never mind. And then, by the looks of things, there are one, two, three, four, five, six screws. Okay, so put these in order. One screw, two screws, oh that one's not coming out, oh, there we go, okay, two screws, three, four, these are the same Two, sorry, that was three, that's four, and then presumably five and six. I really should have a powered screwdriver for this, but um, I can't afford one as yet, so I haven't. Okay. So, does this now come apart? Yes. Right, so, bottom bit off there. does that work oh and there's one more there that's why right there we go yes so now that comes from here and then what do we need to take off just those two there I think I need to replace the heater. It's really noisy now, that. And that's not good. Right, so.
There we go. That's the best I'm going to do because I don't really want to take it apart any further if I can help it. So, green wire comes from the positive on the battery into this connector here. The yellow connector, the yellow wire goes down two wires, no one wire, so left hand yellow goes down into the box as does the right hand wire. So left side, right side, black also goes in there so one will be speaker, one will be positive, one will be negative or ground and then motor goes to red left, black right, this way. The little switch doesn't come off, that's fine. So green, yellow, yellow, black, red, black. And then they go obviously into here and probably onto there maybe. Oh, well there you go, there we are, right. That's even better, even easier. So the two yellows are to the speaker. Let me see whether I can zoom in for you on that one second. Yes, right. So, <clears throat> the two yellow speakers go, uh, the two yellow wires, sorry, go to the speaker and they go, looking at it that way, left hand side wire on the speaker goes to the right hand pad on the circuit board, right hand wire on the speaker goes to the left hand pad on the circuit board. The top one is green, that goes to plus on the battery, the black is negative, goes to that side of the negative to make the circuit and then looking at the board that way with the curve going this side, red on the left, black on the right, goes to whichever way on the battery, uh, on the battery, sorry, on the motor and that looks like there's two capacitors maybe or resistors they look like um, ceramics maybe don't know I'd have to check on those there's no writing on them so I can't tell and then that's it really the wiring is not that bad so two yellow to the speakers green to the positive black to the negative negative positive speaker out speaker out and battery sorry a motor out positive and ground okay so let's see whether we can have some success now putting this back together right so how does that go in there that goes in there like so does it yes like so so the outside there goes like that not on the inside that won't fit so outside to outside Brilliant. Then this goes round that way with the small screw in the left hand hole. So I can zoom you out then now. No, that's in zooming in. There we go. Right, so yes, yeah, smaller screw, left hand hole, bigger screw with what looks like some sort of grounding plate or transfer plate fits in. There's a tiny little slit there, just there, which that tooth slots in and then makes a connection there. And then the bigger screw, the bigger screw goes in like 
this out. Okay, so now that's in there. That, this side with the button, goes back on there like so, making sure that your cables for your battery, I keep saying battery, for your motor are not twisted and caught within it. And this actually, I think, does go inside now. Let's have a see, is it ridged? Yes, it is. Right, so, that goes in there like so. Yeah, there we go underneath. That one goes back on there with the battery compartment inside the plastic. Yep. There we go. And you can now feel that the the bat the switch is more solid and more tight. Okay. And then that goes back in there like so. And that's your your whole box sorted. So the two big screws with the little flangey bits on go in this side like so Little screw goes in that side. <laughs> if I can get it in. Another small screw in that side. Yeah, and judging by this now, for some reason, I'm a screw spare. Now that can't be right, can it? Well, let's see what happens, shall we? Well, still works. There you go. So, the off-centre wheel is still working. So, <laughs> wherever that screw's from, at the moment, I don't need it. So I'm going to leave it out, because I'm not bothered taking this apart again. I'm taking the batteries out now, so that I can put him back in storage, so that um, we can take him for a rainy day again, we can use him again in years to come, and if the batteries don't decay and rot inside the actual chassis. Um, so what I will do is I will leave that screw inside the battery compartment so that if I do come to do this again anytime soon I've got the spare well I've got the, the missing screw so that I can readdress it There we go, excellent. So we take him here, we wrap that wire, that piece of cloth through there, that through there, we tie him up. And I'm gonna do a bow I think this time as opposed to a double knot because that double knot was a pain to sort out. There we go, so a knot there. Oh. Yeah, there we go, all nice and tight. So no batteries 
which means he can be put in storage in his little box with all the other toys, all his friends, without worrying about the battery acid ruining his kit. Ooh, and it only goes in one way, presumably, which is that way. Yeah, so that the button is at the front. Right, where are we? There we go. There we go. Good boy, Elmo. And then we tighten him up again. And there he is. Then he still needs a good clean. And his eyes are still very yellow. Now, somebody did say that you could use hand sanitizer, um, but I don't know about that because hand sanitizer is um, like gold dust at the moment. Um, as you can imagine, with coronavirus and everything like that, people are still buying lots of hand sanitizer and it's inflated the price quite significantly. But anyway, I hope you found this video informative. Um, give it a thumbs up if you like it, give it a thumbs down if you didn't. Um, I hope to address more toys in the future. Um, there's one coming up in March that you will, I'm sure, be impressed to see. And um, on that note, I will leave you to it. Thanks for watching. Give the video a like. Give me a comment. Don't forget to check out the Patreon page. Uh, it's newly set up. There's not much on there at the moment, but there will be more and more content for people who want to subscribe. Um, it all helps and it allows me to get more tech to show on these videos. Um, yeah, so again, thanks for watching. Goodbye.